I make the best amaretto sour in the world. I mean, that's it. I mean, that's a guilty pleasure. Like, I like amaretto. You know, I don't go, I don't like drink it all the time, but like, I don't hate it. You know, it's delicious. It's sweet and delicious. And uh, some friends and I were talking about just that and talking about amaretto sours, you know, kind of like building it up. Like, what if you could do like an amaretto sour but with like fresh lemon juice? What, it, oh, what about egg white? Yeah, add some egg white to it. And it became that like you had to, we were messing around with it and, and you had to add so much amaretto. The drink was just huge because it's, amaretto is really like weak. So I had the idea to add some like high proof bourbon in there, just like a little bit, you know, to just give it more body and it is it, it really is like the best amaretto sour in the world and i uh i put the recipe up on my website and it's so funny i got multiple emails from people saying if you're gonna add egg white and bourbon you have to call it something different because you're taking a classic cocktail and you're changing it and so, you know, giving it the same name, it, that's just a bullshit. And I was like, classic, what? You know, I mean, okay, so here's, here's the bartender's black book, right? Amaretto sour recipe. Fill a tall glass with ice, two ounces of amaretto, fill with sour mix. Like, that's not a classic cocktail, you know? <laughs> like, that's not something that, like, some venerable, I mean, it's not like, you know, it's not like I took out like a gimlet, you know, and was like, oh, yeah, well, we're going to add a bunch of, you know, bullshit in here. You know, it's an amaretto sour. It's a stupid drink. You know, it's been around since the 70s. Like, the, this is the new, it's my new amaretto sour. I'm going to call it an amaretto. I'll call it whatever I want. So we start with an ounce and a half of amaretto. And to that, we add three quarters of an ounce of uh you know, cask strength bourbon. I use Booker's because it's kind of one of the lesser expensive of the cask proof bourbons. I've made it with George T. Stagg and it is unbelievably good, but it's hard to find and it's expensive. To that, we add a full ounce of lemon juice next. And then just for just a little bit more sweetness because we're not using that much amaretto, uh, a teaspoon of two to one simple syrup. And then to that, I'm just gonna add uh, a half ounce of, of egg white and uh, give it just a quick little dry shake just to kind of buff it up a little bit. And then uh, we'll fill it with ice in the shaker and uh, give it a good shake, get it nice and cold. And then uh, strain it over some fresh ice in an old fashioned glass. I like the European way of garnishing sours, which is just lemon peel, you know, that seems right to me. Um, here in the States, you know, the real traditional kind of sour garnish is, is uh, either an orange wedge or a lemon wedge and a cherry, you know, like one of those bright red maraschino cherries. Just as I kind of a throwback to that, I add one of our, you know, house brandied amarena cherries that we carry at Clyde. So I'll just put one of those on top, you know, people like it. And that's it. It's the best Amarone Sour in the world. Mm -hmm.